So I received a fantastic new pen from Dow Strong that I couldn't wait to share with you. Um, they have just recently gotten into the cookware line. I was happy to see that it was stainless steel cookware that they were producing and I thought I would share my experience with you because it has been extremely positive so far. Um, let me show you a couple of quick features of the pan and then I will go ahead and actually demonstrate how well it works. If you take a look at how the pan is made, it's actually a heavy gauge, uh, three ply stainless steel, and it has a nice weight to it, but it's not so heavy that it's too bulky to use or lift. Um, it comes, what I like, with two handles. So I have this nice logoed handle on the left hand side, which is securely riveted it in, um, makes for a very strong, firm hold. I don't have to worry when I'm using the pan that I'm gonna get some sort of torque that I'm not expecting. The other handle is an exceptionally uh, long handle compared to most fry pans. And this is fantastic for giving me that extra grip when I want to do something where I pour things out of the pan. Again, also very firmly riveted in. And most importantly, this handle stays cool as I'm working. So that to me is a huge plus. I don't have to worry about messing with pot holders, uh, oven gloves. It does exactly what I need to do without having to use extra materials to, to make it all happen. Bottom of the pan basically is just gonna be your logo area telling you about the pan itself. It is a 12 inch skewed side fry pan. And I purposely bought this rather than the straight sides because I do do a lot of stir fries. And most people will choose to not use stainless steel for stir fries because they don't know how to use a stainless steel pan accurately or um, as well as something that's nonstick. So I'm gonna share a couple of my secrets with you because it's really important once you pick up these little things, um, you're gonna realize how much better stainless steel actually works than nonstick. Um, last thing I wanna show you before I actually start using the pan is the lid. The lid is a tempered glass lid with the Dow Strong logo and nice solid stainless steel grip to it. It has a uh, stainless steel vent hole, which will be very nice for giving the vegetables that last little steam before I pour them into the dish. And I love how wide the view is on this tempered glass lid. I can always see what's going on in the pan. So let's get to cooking and let me show you some of the things I was talking about. To make the most use of a stainless steel pan, you have uh, two choices. You can either add oil to the pan while it's hot, which I will do a lot for proteins because hot oil uh, and then adding the protein will really assist in that nonstick factor. But because my vegetables were free previously frozen, these are cold and I'm gonna add oil to my cold pan and then start to heat it up. So I don't necessarily preheat this when I'm doing vegetables, uh, unlike how I would do proteins because I want the oil to coat the pan nicely, but yet at the same time, I don't need the same type of nonstick qualities with vegetables that were cold that I would with room temperature seafoods or room temperature proteins in general. So I'm gonna allow this to heat up. While I heat everything up, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my spices. A little salt, a little pepper, and because this distributes heat so evenly and so well, I'm gonna know when this is ready to start moving those vegetables around when I start to hear just a little bit of the sizzle from the pan. I'm gonna add one more spice. And you 
can just start hearing the sizzle of the vegetables in the pan. And you'll also notice as I'm working these, they're moving around just fine. Nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. I'm starting to get nice, even cooking throughout. And because these were frozen previously, I want to give it just a little bit of a steam. So I'm going to go ahead and use my lid. And as I said before, you can see through the tempered glass everything very well. That vent hole is working just fine. I hope you can see it on the, the video, but we're getting some nice steam right outside of the vent hole. This handle is not even slightly warm as I'm holding the pan. I know this pan is hot. You can hear it sizzling, but these handles are 100% completely comfortable for me to hold. Um, no heat conduction into the handle at all. So that's going to make it very nice for me as far as actually being able to work with the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And we're going to let these move around just a little bit. Again, you can see how incredibly easy these move. Nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. And I think that's really what scares people off from using stainless steel. They're worried about the sticking that, you know, maybe they had with mom and dad's old pans and they go to that Teflon coated pan. Um, the problem with that is if you read anything about the health of pans um, affecting your family's health over time, those Teflon pans have chemicals in them that last a very long time in the body with exposure. They've been proven uh, by medical professionals as well as um, the Environmental Protection Agency, you know, to just hang around way too long and cause disease when they're present. So I love going back to stainless steel usage. I find that by doing so, it really keeps my food uh, as nutritious as possible, as cleanly cooked as possible and I don't have to worry about adding things to my family's diet that I really didn't want in the first place. So my vegetables are pretty well cooked. You can see that only took just a few minutes to do that and I am going to go ahead and transfer these into my dish for dinner tonight. And I'm gonna show you exactly why a skewed side frying pan is so incredibly nice in the kitchen. I'm gonna pick this pan up with both handles, no problem whatsoever, and everything is gonna slide out beautifully. Makes preparing dinner very, very easy. So, that is a couple of my cooking tips, as well as a little bit of the performance of the pan. I hope that uh, it helped you make a decision for whether you need this pan in your family. I know for sure I did in mine.